The Attorney General of the United States, William Barr, has just debunked President Trump's claims of widespread election fraud. In an interview with the Associated Press, he said, quote, to date, we have not seen fraud on a scale that could have affected a different outcome in the election. I want to bring in CNN legal analyst Ann Milgram and CNN senior political analyst Ron Brownstein to be with us here. Um, Ann, this is a significant statement coming from the attorney general and from one of the president's loyalists. It is. It's a really important statement. Um, I've been following the civil cases that the campaign has filed. They've lost 39 of those cases. I think it's they've won one and, and they've lost 39. And courts continue to dismiss them with the Third Circuit recently saying it's not enough to allege fraud or a problem. You have to actually come into court and prove it. And they just haven't done it. So there's another piece of the puzzle, which is criminal investigations. We know that earlier Attorney General Barr had told lawyers and FBI agents that they could investigate if they wanted to. That's in contradiction to longstanding DOJ policy. But now we have him coming out and saying they've looked at some systemic allegations of fraud. They haven't found anything. And this really, I think, pushes pushes it a lot closer to, to all the litigation being done. I mean, he said to date, but we're a month after the election. And I think if anything was going to come um, come to be investigated, he would have seen it by now. And Ron, inherent in what Bill Barr is saying here is that Joe Biden won this election. What is your reaction? Right. I mean, the fact that even Bill Barr is saying this, who has been uh, the most loyalist to the president, who has repeatedly kind of twisted uh, the law and the facts to try to benefit the president from the way he characterized the Mueller report uh, initially, all the way through the fact that even he is reaching this conclusion, Brianna, it makes it even more astonishing and egregious how few Republicans in Congress have been willing to say the same, in effect, to acknowledge that the sky is blue or that gravity exists, that there could not have been fraud on a scale to a you know, tilt an election that's going to finish somewhere around six and a half million or seven million vote margin. So the fact that even Bill Barr got here, I think, makes it even uh, underscores just how exposed these Republicans in Congress are and just how cynical and corrosive uh, their behavior has been in terms of allowing Trump to undermine faith in the election, which is happening among Republican voters.